Hi everybody, welcome back. On this tutorial, we will focus on auto trading. Auto trading is basically having the computer follow a certain set of instructions and examines how the market moves based on your criteria and then it executes a particular action. In MetaTrader, auto trading, when you actually attach the robot to the charts, those are called expert advisors and they're there and they are in their own directory. So looking at Navigator here, we have Indicators, Expert Advisors. Here we go. You click on that, you can see these are Expert Advisors that are currently, um, they, they default in this particular version of Alpari's MetaTrader. So in order to apply one to a chart, I select and I hold it and I drag it on. Now it brings, it brings up a box, it asks me what I want to do. Shall enable alerts? Sure. So that every time it executes a trade, it'll create a sound. I may not want that, especially if I'm placing uh, placing my expert advisor on my charts prior to going to bed. My computer's in my room. I may not want it to ding every time it goes off. Live trading. Here is a mistake a lot of people make. They don't actually click this live trading box. I'll show you what happens. So I hit OK. Notice here, it tells me the name of the expert advisor that's that's actually attached to the chart, and there's an X. This X, there's a couple reasons why you might see this symbol. Either, you, either you'll get an X, a frowny face, or a happy face. Happy face means everything is good to go. So I have an X. You may think, oh, I just need to press this button to, to start expert advisors. I click. So now, I, by clicking this bu button, I'm telling MetaTrader to start using my uh, my expert advisor and start looking at market conditions to figure out a trade. Look over here, wait a minute. There's no love. It's an unhappy face. That means it's not looking at market conditions. It's not actually working. So something is wrong here. What we need to do is you can right click, expert advisors, properties. And the reason why it's not working is because I haven't told MetaTrader to actually let this expert advisor operate on the charts. By clicking onto it, then I can choose Ask Manual Confirmation. That's if you want it. You just want to double check prior to it executing the trades. I hit OK. There we go. We have a happy face. Now the system is actually looking at market conditions and it will make a decision one way or the other. That's as simple as it is, guys. Now, you would never place an EA blindly on a chart without checking the input levels. Let me go back, I right click, Expert Advisor, Properties, Inputs. So, you have variables and the values associated with it. So right now, based on this particular Expert Advisor and the default settings, it will trade 0.1 lots the mass, maximum risk of 2%. Now you may ask, what does this mean? Well, in order to see exactly what that means, you'd actually have to open up the uh, MetaTrader um, language query at the editor in order to look at uh, additional notes associated with that. And we'll actually go through that as well. Moving period, this is indicative of the period, number of, uh, of bars that the moving average will take a look at in order to make a decision one way or the other. And moving shift, this shifts the moving average. And this moving shift, this is telling the indicator how far you shift the moving average one way or the other. And I'll show you. We'll replicate the line here to see exactly what's going on. So we'll hit cancel. I'll apply moving average to show you. I click on indicators, moving average, parameters, put in 12, shift, 6, simple and close. There we go. So notice how my last bar is right here, but the line continues. It continues, it's shifted 6 bars over. That's what that shift means. That's actually shifting into the future. So normally, if you had a shift to zero, this line would end on this particular at this particular bar level as well too, because the future hasn't happened yet. 
in this case, some people like to have the, the shift move out a little bit forward in order to adjust for the time lag associated with moving averages. All right. Now there's a pile of things that were going on in this in this expert advisor that we didn't we weren't too sure about. How do we figure out the notes? Well, depending on who actually coded the expert advisor, they may include notes in the expert advisor that you can't see to give you some additional insight. Let's check it out. See this little yield sign with an exclamation mark? That's meta editor. Let's click on that and we will actually open up the program that shows the language the language behind the expert advisor. All right, we have a moving average. Here we go. Double click that and it opens up the information associated with the file. And sure enough, they don't have it. it tells you lots, your mass, maximum risk. I believe this is the amount of risk that you will place on the account at any one point in time. So this is 2% of your, uh, part of your account value. Decrease factor, three. I'd have to go through the notes in order to take a look at what this is in reference to to see how it's structured. Moving period, there we go, 12, shift, six. And if you're so inclined, you can take a look at the code associated with uh, the expert advisor. And there's lots of places on the net, and I'll post some links to where you can find tutorials on actually writing code for expert advisors, for indicators, as well as for scripts. So I'll include that within uh, within the, the posting of this particular video. All right, let me just close that down. There we go. So guys, this is the basis of applying expert advisors, as well as how to ensure that it's enabled and to watch out for this section right here to make sure that there's this little smiley face that you know that the expert advisor is applied to the chart, the name of it, and it's actually working. All right, guys, thanks very much, and we'll see you in upcoming tutorials.